Tony Adams has decided to withdraw from Strictly Come Dancing after getting injured during Saturday night's show. The football legend, 56, had proved to be a massive hit with viewers after entertaining fans with his outrageously funny routines with bro dancer Katya Jones. But Tony's decision to quit the competition was announced before a dance-off could take place after the Arsenal legend sustained an injury. He made the decision when he and Katya were set to face Tyler West and Diane Boswell in the dance-off, but was unable to perform. Tess explained to viewers, due to an injury sustained on Saturday night, Tony is unable to take part in the dance-off and has decided to withdraw from the competition. This means there will be no dance-off tonight and Tyler and Diane are through to Blackpool. Paying tribute to Tony, Shirley said, Tony, from the very first moment you stepped foot on the floor with your tango, to the last moment and the last kick, you have given us 100% of your heart. You have grown week after week after week, you have become one of the nation's favorite entertainers. On behalf of the judges, we've enjoyed watching every second, you are truly what this show is all about, and we can only wish you the very best as you move forward. Please carry on dancing, carry on entertaining people, because you are a star. Well done. Asked about his time on the show, Tony said, It's been emotional guys, I cried for the first month. I came in here with one message, if you've got an issue with mental health then please don't suffer in silence and reach out for help. Little did I know that I was going to learn a lot about myself in the process. I thought this journey rubbish was nonsense, but my god the roller coaster of emotion. I've got to be honest, it's tough, physically it's really tough out there, but dancing is really fantastic for you. Go out there and enjoy it and pick up new skills and explore. I suppose I had better mention this one, Katya, hadn't I, she is an exceptional human being, she really is. Katya became emotional as she turned to Tony and told him, Tony Adams, I will be forever grateful that I was partnered up with you, do you know what I loved? I loved us, I loved that we didn't care what people thought, we did every single dance our way. You have come here with a message, you led by example, and put yourself out there, and showed everyone you can do anything. And everyone deserves love and to be loved. I love you. From stripping off his kit in week 3 for a full Mondi themed routine to dancing a devilish quick step and salsaing to a pitbull classic, Tony never failed to lift the spirits of anyone watching. But his jive to land of 1000 dances this week would be his last ever foray onto the dance floor as he pulled out of the competition. After performing the dance, Tony admitted that it had been a tough week of training. It also came after Tony and his pro-partner Katya Jones appeared to be caught arguing last week after he mucked up his routine. During his time on the series, Tony admitted he and his professional partner Katya had a fallout backstage. The Arsenal legend compared the backstage row to a telling off from his old Arsenal boss as he spilled all in October. The last time I've been told off like that was by George Graham and I left the dressing room, admitted Tony. Tony said in the confrontation the professional dancer delivered the footy legend some home truths. I was full of fear beforehand. We had a team talk, the former Arsenal captain told host Rylan Clark on It Takes Two at the time. She, Katya, came into my dressing room after our dress rehearsal and told me a few home truths about me holding back. I think she admits it could have gone either way. I could have thrown my toys out of the pram and gone home. 
but I fought back the fear and just kind of went for it. Tony certainly isn't the first celebrity to withdraw from Strictly during its 18-year history. Back in 2020, boxer Nicola Adams was forced to pull out of the BBC show after her partner Katya had tested positive for COVID-19. At the time, Strictly had a very strict policy whereby anyone who tested positive was immediately forced to withdraw. Now, celebs are allowed one pass to the next week. A year prior, Will Bailey withdrew after suffering a knee injury and had been told that he absolutely could not dance. Similarly, Jamie Lying also suffered a food injury that same year before the competition even started, meaning that he was unable to compete. He was replaced by Bill Bailey, who ended up winning the whole show, but was able to return a year later. In 2016, Will Young shocked fans after suddenly quitting the show and failed to give a reason at the time, simply saying that he left with joy in his heart. Back in 2007, Kelly Brook sadly withdrew after her dad Kenneth, who had been terminally ill, died from cancer. Initially, she tried to remain in the competition but, when struggling in rehearsals, decided to quit. But the most controversial quitter is most certainly John Sargent, who had been paired with Christina Ryanoff in 2008. After failing to land in the dance-off because viewers kept voting him through, he said that winning would have been a joke too far and pulled out of the competition before that possibility became a reality. Strictly airs Saturdays and Sundays on BBC One Read more Strictly Come Dancing 2022 Hamza's heartbreaking comment James breaks down Hamza tops Strictly fans board Tony and Katya addressed spat.